What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dungeons! Now today, the new Jungle Awakens DLC just came out, so now if we open up the big map, we can see we have Island Realms over here, and uh, one upcoming DLC is the Creeping Winter, I think that's supposed to come out in like August or something like that, but the one that came out today is the Jungle Awakens one, so we have Dingy Jungle over here, and then we have another one over here that's locked, which will probably unlock after we do this one. Now, literally just yesterday, I uploaded the video of me beating the Arch Illager, the main storyline of Minecraft Dungeons, so this came out at a perfect time, so for this one, it says recommended power is 33, and we're at 32 right now. I was kind of thinking, like, you know what, maybe we'll try and do the adventure mode over here? Maybe we could. Uh, I cannot do adventure one, though, that's kind of weird. I guess I'm only able to do a uh, recommended power 39 with my current 32 power. Okay, well, maybe we'll switch out some of our stuff to actually uh, make up for this. So how about we do Adventure 2 difficulty for Dingy Jungle over here? Let's just read the story before we jump into it. Entangled in Vines. Oh, whoa, look at that thing. That's some weird new creature we haven't seen in Minecraft before, so that's awesome. Some, like, weird jungle skeletons over here, too. And there's an ocelot right there, too. Didn't they take him out in regular Minecraft? That's cool that they brought him back. Some sort of parrot statue right there, too. Anyways, entangled in vines, we've tracked the orb's shard to the edge of a dense jungle where dangerous creatures creep out from under the thick canopy. What brave hero would dare cut through the twisted vines to reach the dark power that hides within? Ooh, that's probably me, because I'm stupid enough to do that, right? <laughs> we've got a lot of new stuff over here that we can unlock over here. I wonder if that's because we're going to be in adventure difficulty or what? Uh, yeah, a lot of that's because of adventure difficulty. Tasty bone. Oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe we'll get our uh, wolf friend over here. Uh, we also have the totem of regeneration, hunter's armor, and just a regular bow, and then a lot of stuff over here that we can unlock because of Adventure 2 difficulty, so without any further ado, let's just start the mission here, and let's travel to the dingy jungle. Ooh, yeah. I don't know what that creature is. Some sort of- is that like a Venus flytrap sort of thing? What is, or like a cat cactus? I don't know. I guess we'll see here in just a moment. The orb of dominance may have shattered but its powerful shards have scattered across the vast overworld. One of those shards has landed in the lush jungle, where new threats roar to life beneath the dark canopies. The shard, the source of corruption, must be destroyed to free this land from the orb's dark manipulations. Yeah, you guys remember, literally, in yesterday's episode, the orb of dominance got shattered when we defeated the, uh... Or Chillager. This is some spooky music going on right now. So look at the map. Make sure we don't lose anything. Kind of want to look at my uh, loadout right- Oh, whoa, there's a rope. What if I- Ah, I can't climb up that. that. That must be how I got down here in the first place. But yeah, let's check our uh, loadout. Oh, whoa, what is this? No secrets here? Really? That's kind of weird. Chest open, zero out of three. Let's open up our inventory here. So let's see. What do we have for melee? Do I want to use the Sun's Grace, which was actually pretty decent? Or do I want to use the Hammer of Gravity, which was amazing? We do have no enchant slots right now, actually. We have six enchants on the heckin' Claymore over here, though. Fire aspect exploding. Yeah, we never really did get to test out the exploding, did we? Where it makes an enemy explode for like 40% of damage after you kill it or whatever? So definitely want to test that out, at least here. Even though we're going to be relatively underpowered. Definitely want to switch out my uh, artifacts, though, because I have the I have the fishing rod for my intro, so I don't want to do that. Soul Healer, I usually keep that for a boss battle. Uh, let's get the Death Cat Mushroom, and you know what? Let's get the Wolf. Where's our wolf at? He's only at level to, uh, 27. Oh wait, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we got a level 35 uh, wonderful wheat at the end of the last episode, so... 82 summon damage, compared to like 59 or whatever the uh, the tasty bone would be. No, 67 right there, so... Yeah, let's spawn in the llama. There you go, we have ourselves a llama friend there. Nice. We have ourselves some fire arrows as well, so we might want to use those. Oh, Skelefella, lit him on fire, and... Oh no, I got hit by a spider right there. Was that a jungle spider? No, that's just a regular spider, it looks like. Jungle skeleton over there, though. Man! Even though this crossbow is relatively low level, especially compared to the other stuff that we have uh, for ranged weaponry, it still does pretty good damage, though. Not bad. And, of course, we don't have to load it up or anything like that. Like, it just shoots like a hacking gun, which is crazy good. There's my llama getting stuck on something. Seems like there's an area over here. Let's go check out what's over here. Might be able to find some loot. Oh, we have some spiders. Oh, oh god, I got stuck. No! But I'll still be- Man, lots of massive damage. Killed some spiders, a skeleton. Wasn't able to kill that skeleton or that spider right there. I guess they're too far away outside of render- or, uh, yeah, outside of render range. I guess I could say that, but outside of TNT range there. What is this? That was a weird, like, corner right there. It kind of looked like something was there, but no. There are no secrets, apparently. Unless we, like, come across one, and then it'll say, like, one out of one. But, uh, yeah, zero out of zero right now on the secrets. Let's go over here, though, because there's another dead end. I want to go see what's over here. 
you might have missed anything. And of course, yeah, after we kill that thing, you see it explodes. And however much health it has, 40% of that health will do uh, explosion damage back to any nearby enemies that get exploded upon. But it doesn't really make sense when there's only one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's roll towards these guys. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. He exploded across the other skeletons right there. That's cool. Nice. There's like a chain reaction of explosions. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, was that Ocelot friendly? Hold on, are they killing me? Yeah, they're not killing me. Okay, let's not kill the ocelots, you guys. Okay, just leave them alone. Just let them live. I don't know if they're going to fight the skeletons or even, like, ward off creepers and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, let's just see if there's anything else over here. Yeah, nothing. Just a statue of a parrot right there, and that's it. Okay. Well, can I really not do anything with this guy? I don't want to accidentally hit him right there and kill him. <laughs> but I thought maybe I could recruit him or something like that and have another... Uh, oh, look at that. An ocelot statue right there. Cool. Another ocelot meowing back there. You guys hear that? Let's see what's up here, though. Journey to the jungle. I thought we are already in the jungle. Oh, it says explore the jungle. Sounds like a skeleton fell up here. Let's hit him with a claymore and make him explode. Nice. Yeah, look at that. He took the other skeletons down like maybe a third, a quarter health or something like that. Nice. And nice. Expo oh, man. God, man. Well, I still have some fire arrows, so might as well use those up right there. Nice. Oh, armored zombie. Yeah, well, he's able to take up some more hit. Oh, man. He actually took some hardcore hits right there. Yeah, remember, we do 30% uh, extra damage with our current armor. Because it does extra damage for uh, melee, which is good. But yeah, might want to actually strategically kill these things so that then they can explode on any enemies that are nearby. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, wait, no, that was my llama. He spit on that uh, that skeleton and killed him right there. <laughs> I thought it was the explosion of the uh, armored zombie that killed him, but nope. And another explosion right there. Didn't kill that skeleton, but took him down a little bit. And that was a regular skeleton. What? Okay, I think I'm poisoned. Wait, what was that? I didn't know what that status effect was right there, but I think... Maybe the uh, ju uh, jungle skeletons or whatever those are, they're doing like poison or something like that to me. I want to watch out for that to be quite honest. Let's load up uh, more. Oh wait, no, we still have one poison arrow right now. I don't know what that is over here. Might want to keep our eyes peeled to see if we can actually interact with any of these statues. There's like an illager slash villager statue right there. But I want to just make sure we don't want to uh, miss out on any unlockables here. And that skeleton died from fire aspect, nice. Or flames or whatever, because this is a, it's a bow and arrow, right? So it would be flames. There's a zombie right there, just a regular one. Oh, narrowly avoid that uh, spider right there. Oh, man, another spider. Nice, killed him. Got him with the, uh, the llama spit, too. <laughs> What's up here? It seems like there might be a cave or something. Oh, no, there's a chest. One of the three chests over here. I'm not going to go down there. I feel like it might be a trap. Let's see, what is this? Oakwood brew. Briefly boost defense. Huh. So there's already a new thing. I wonder if that's because of adventure mode or because of the new DLC. Interesting. And we do have a... Oh, it only lasts for like 15 seconds or something like that. Shadow Brew is about to... Yep, it just ran out right there. And we have five seconds of uh, Oakwood Brew or... Yeah, Oakwood Armor. So that's cool. But yeah, I definitely want to save those for battles and stuff like that. Now, remember, I think our current arm... Oh, God! Whoops! Oh, my, no! I killed the Ocelot! Man, I, I misclicked there and killed him. Uh, but which way do I need... Okay, I need to go that way. Is this circle around? Is this a bonus area? I th it might be. Uh, yeah, I didn't get any stas effect on that guy. Kind of want to see. I kind of want to let this zombie attack. Ah, oh, he got killed right there. Okay, let's see. Man, I just want to see what this zo or uh, this this jungle variant does, because it looks like it has some sort of stas effect, like some sort of poison or something like that that it does. Oh, we have strength. Nice. So I wonder if the strength. Oh yeah, I I doubt it. I doubt it's going to do a uh, eighty percent damage to things whenever they explode. I think it only does a uh, extra damage for like straight melee or straight range. So I don't think we need to worry about that. Nothing over here though. That's kind of interesting. Just an ocelot. Yeah, these ocelots are just kind of randomly out in the open like that. They're not really, like, killing anything, so... I'm like, they're not really helping me. They're just, I guess, just neutral, so... That's interesting. But yeah, there's nothing over there, unfortunately. How many chests? We have, yeah, one out of three. Ooh, look at that. The map actually turns green over here, which is cool. So, like... Like, light gray or something like that that we saw previously. Oh, man, spiders! Hiding out in the open like that. Nice. Got them. Okay, I kind of want to get hit by that skeleton on purpose. Just to see what happens. Let's see what happens. Can he even hit me? Yeah, poison. Okay, so jungle skeletons, jungle zombies. If I get touched by either one of them, I guess, we'll get poisoned for like three seconds and we'll get a little bit of our health going down. Oh, yeah, we need to use the... Uh, jo oh, nice. Just use the uh, the health right there and actually got ourselves an Oakwood Brew so we have a little bit better defense. Let's use the uh, Death Cat Mushroom, too, just because, hey, why not? Let's use a uh, little bit of... I think we speed up. Movement speed goes up as well as, of course, weapon speed goes up as well. So that's good. It's about to run out right now, though, but yeah, it just ran out. So that sucked. But, oh man, that ocelot just narrowly avoided death right there. Nice. Passed through the stronghold. Let's do that here in just a moment. I can't use the death cat mushroom just yet, but... Considering we're, uh, like, three... Pa oh man, that, that, that exploded... That, like, death rattle explosion right there actually killed those guys. Holy heck. Now, I need to use 
another health right here. Or at least have some regen from that apple. Nice. Good timing on that one. Let's use the Death Cat Mushroom again. Let's try and kill all these things while we have some really good weapon speed. There you go. Nice. Whoa, whoa. Look at all those skeletons right there. Man, those explosions did some good damage, but I'm actually taking some good damage too. Remember, we're on a higher difficulty because of uh, Adventure difficulty. So, definitely want to watch out. Make sure we don't die. Use our uh, flaming arrows to go up against these guys. There you go. Man, didn't mean to hit that ocelot right there. There you go. Go up against the zombies. We have seven. Uh, oh, whoops. Excellent. Well, hey, we got a uh, regen from that guy, so not necessarily died in vain or anything like that, sheesh. What's over here? I think this is a bonus area over here. Yeah, this is a bonus. Yeah, look at that dead end right there. And of course, we have poison from the poison skeletons, so that's going to be doing some damage over time, I'm sure. So need to watch out for that. Seems like another dead end up here. Is there a chest? Oh, whoa, there's one of the- Oh, here's those vines things, or something. We saw them during the intro. I didn't know what they were. They're not- They're not that weird- creature that we saw that looked like a Venus flytrap or something like that. This must have been what was in the other, uh, ground area that I just kind of walked around earlier. Hmm. Well, they're killed now, so that's good. Is that another thing? No, that's just a regular flower or something. Huh. Well, I don't know what those things even do. I, I killed them before they even attacked me or anything like that, but that's good. We took them out of the equation. Didn't get killed by them. Didn't get killed in general. So, that's actually We're actually doing pretty decently right now, especially considering our current weapon isn't as good as our other weapons that we can get. Oh, 15 seconds of regen right there. Nice. And a strength. Man, I missed out on a strength potion there. Ah, we could have been mowing those guys down a lot easier than we were, but whatever. We have to go up here now for an ocelot. Nothing else? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else there. Oh, whoa. There's like something. Twist that little wheel. Uh-oh. I was about to spawn something in a mini boss battle. Oh, yep. We're oh, whoa. A lot of cre Whoa. A lot of creepers right there. That was a trap. That was a booby trap right there. Okay, let's heal up. Oh, whoops, that was Death Cat Mushroom, but still, we still, uh, were able to kill a bunch of things super fastly right there with the, uh, increased weapon speed, so that's good. Kill the skeleton. Another wave of them. Nope, that's all of them right there. Nice. We got a chest. Does that one count? It did. Okay, oh, no, it was a bonus one, so it went to two out of four now instead of, uh, out of three, so that's good. So we're actually getting some of the loot over here. Uh, we still got some- Oh, it's five seconds of poison from the- from the zombie. Is it five seconds of poison from the zombie and three seconds from the skeleton? The jungle skeleton? Uh, I can't tell. I think it, it was either five, three or four. I don't know. But I might as well use uh, more flaming arrows to go up against these guys. There you go. Kill these guys from a distance. Especially because we have a decent amount of arrows. And remember, we get seven flaming arrows every time we use that uh, flaming arrow thing right there. Surprise my- Oh, man, we have watermelons over here. How well uh, those do? Oh, those are 15 seconds of regen. Nice. We didn't have watermelons. I don't know. It, once again, I don't know if it's because of adventure mode or the jungle, but I assume maybe the jungle? Because of the, uh... The theme we have over here. Although, I, I don't know if watermelons really fit a jungle theme. What's up here? Okay, uh, we could actually walk up here, which is good, but... There's something over there. I don't know how to get to it. Uh, what if I hit... Oh, I can't hit that, like, pre like, pressure plate or button or whatever. Okay, well, let's, let's hit that one down there. See what that activates. Because there's a button in there. What's that do? Oh, okay, never mind. That just opens up that. Okay. What's that open? Oh, okay. Kind of an interesting little thing over here. Let's we'll see what's inside the- Oh my gosh, emeralds literally just flew out right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's a trap. We've got enemies. Let's get the death cat mushroom activated. Bunch of poison zombies! Holy! Creeper down there, he just- Oh, nice! Look at that, you guys saw that? The ocelot just knocked the creeper off the map. Nice! Alright, well, we have more enemies, it seems. Oh, yep, now they're spawning in. Uh-oh. Creeper there, though. Shoot him. There you go. I'm shooting him. No, my man, my llama just got killed and it got poisoned too. That was crazy. And what happened here? Isn't this supposed to open up? Uh oh, oh, it opened up down that button down there. Okay. What's inside of this chest though? Just emeralds? Yep, looks like just emeralds. Okay, let's hit this button. There you go. Let's uh Oh no, I fell off the map. <laughs> I lost 55 health right there. Okay, I didn't die, so that's good. But uh, oh yeah, we have a parrot friend. What's this? Oh, that was a that was an actual chest. Oh, we're out of four out of six chests now. Holy heck. How's this armor? Hunter's armor level 32. Not that good. Sheesh. You think we'd be getting like green arrow armor and stuff like that, considering we're on adventure difficulty. That's like what power level 37 or something like that. And we're only at like 33 or something as is. So that's kind of surprising. I assume this opens up that door. Why do these emeralds keep flying out in that direction? Oh, gosh. Let's get another heal right there. It seems like all the enemy. Okay, well, all of them just spawn up there. Let's get the death cap mushroom. Let's try and just encounter all these guys all at once. Take them all down. There we go. Man. Oh, wait. No, there's a lone zombie down there still. And another chest. Awesome. What's inside? 
Gauntlets! Whoa! Now that is interesting. We haven't seen that before. That seems like we're just going to punch things and do... Oh man, 46 to... Uh, 26 to 46 damage. Relentless combo. I kind of want to test it out real quick on something. Oh, was that? Oh, an emerald went down there. I can't get to it though, so that sucks. But, uh, okay, there's a skeleton. I guess we'll test it out. We're not going to do very good damage, but, uh... Wait, what in the world? Wait, it's kind of ranged. I thought it'd be like... Melee, like strictly melee. Look at that combo! Whoa, it's like I'm a boxer or something. Holy heck, we have a dead end over here. I uh, kind of want to get a heal, so there you go. What is this? Oh, that's the defense thing, nice. Oakwood armor. Oh yeah, well, I'm stuck right now, so I can't reach these guys, so that sucks, but... It's actually doing decently. Like, look at that. I'm like, the combo's able to, like, stun them, like, perpetually, it seems. It's, I'm, I'm able to constantly do damage to them while they're stunned. 15 seconds of regenerate there, I like that. This is actually crazy, you guys. What is, it, what is the speed? Is it maxed out on this? It might be, because we're doing a... Like, look at, look at that. This is faster than even, like, the daggers or even, like, the sickles. Whoa! I'm like, it had a green arrow, but it, it has so, like, little damage. The DPS might be... Yeah, look at that. It's got a green arrow. The DPS might be what's making it have the green arrow there. Whoa, and critical hit powerful enchant right there. So it gives us a 10% chance to do triple damage. Prospector, stunning. Probably don't need stunning. Sharpness, maybe. Fire aspect, I like that. 31 damage per second, that's good. Oh, we, we could have double sharpness? Huh. I don't know why. I, I guess... Yeah, because it'd be two enchantments to get the second one, right? So I guess I could get this sharpness and this sharpness, and then basically have a 20% increased damage, so that's interesting. But these gauntlets are actually kind of good. We just got a level up right there. I, I think I'm going to do fire aspect for them. I think I'm going to keep them for right now, you guys. So there we go. What is the speed on this one? Uh, oh, it's not even maxed out? What? Yeah, everything else is like really, really slow compared to one, but holy heck, the power's low. The area's actually higher. I thought it'd be like actually at the very bottom, but no. Hmm. All right. That's interesting. Anyways, let's continue on now. So these gauntlets seem really, really good. I want to see how good they are like against a big pack. I'm like, we just kind of tested them out against a big pack of enemies. But uh, oh, skeletons, right? Oh, 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 creepers. Oh, run up. Man, man. I just used my heckin' sprint thing right there, or whatever it's called. Shadow Brew. 213 damage with these heckin' gauntlets. That's actually not that bad. I really want to test this out on, like, a, a training dummy or something. Oh, 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 get away from the creeper. Shoot him with an arrow. Oh, man, I didn't have flame arrow. There we go. We got him. Nice. This seems really good. And, of course, the gauntlets now have fire aspects, so we're able to do a little bit of damage over time. Swiftness potion. But, yeah, that's that's one of the bad things about these, uh, these gauntlets. Oh, no, never mind. I'm like, we do have a little bit of range, so we, we're not going to get poisoned by the zombies and stuff. The poison zo the jungle zombies, I guess I'll call them. So that's good, but... Man! Once again, confused whether or not this was in the regular... Oh, 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 vines over there. What do these do? I don't know, but I'm taking them down hardcore. Holy man! But yeah, I don't know. Oh, man, that was a wasted multi-shot right there. Sheesh. I don't know if these were in uh, reg the regular base game or if they're near to the jungle update or what, or if it's because of the adventure mode, difficulty, whatever you want to call it. What is that? Oakwood Brew. Nice. It's mainly these guys down. Nice. Did he have a little bit of AoE right there? I don't know. Oh, red uh, hunter's armor. Okay. Oh, whoa, big wall of uh, weird vines right here. Now, do they do anything? I think they're just kind of defensive or something. They just kind of get in the way, I guess. They're, they don't seem like they do any damage. There's a melon there. Get a little bit of regen. Actually, a pretty good amount, like 15 seconds or something like that. Yeah, look at that. It's constantly like 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Constantly. That's awesome. Definitely want to use these gauntlets more often, you guys, especially because they do have two enchant slots. Uh, we did take a uh, fire aspect on one of them, so it's not like we could do the uh, double sharpness like I was talking about just a moment ago, so that sucks. But uh, if I have another... Uh, if I get rid of something... I don't know what I'd get rid of, though. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of using these, like, weird, like, defensive vines or whatever as, like, punching bags, which is crazy. <laughs> I love it, but... Da oh, gosh, whoops, that's the Ocelot. How does this actually compare to other stuff like the Claymore or the Sunbeam Mace or whatever that thing was called? Or even the Thor's hammer that we have. Shadow Brew to sneak up on that guy. Nice. I don't know. It might be better. Oh, I don't have any flame arrows. There we go. Oh, nice. This is pretty good. Use all the flame arrows against these guys. They're not blown up just yet, though. And that guy's dying. And... Oh, they're not... Oh, I guess they don't die. Oh, hold on. Did they not... Ex oh, yeah. They're not exploding because it only works with the claim. Oh, whoops. That was an ocelot again. Yeah, they don't explode because of the claymore. Forgot about that. Yeah, we don't have the claymore, uh... 
anymore. And I was using a bow and arrow right there too, so I'm like, that's doubly makes sense why it didn't work right there. Sheesh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's take these guys out. And I can only imagine. Let's get the Death Cat Mushroom. How much faster are we going to be with this? Oh my gosh. Look at the numbers just spamming out right there. Oh my gosh. We're doing so much damage so fast. Holy Death Cat ran out though. But we were doing so- oh, 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 I thought that was a creeper. No, it's just a zombie. Okay. Just a zombie on fire. Man, we're doing so much damage with, uh, strength. Look at that! And we do a combo at, like, 106 damage, too? Man, that is good. And it, 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 I think it said, like, relentless combos or something like that. I think it was saying. So this is amazing. We can chop down big enemies super duper fast, you guys. A lot of, like, alternate pathways over here. I kind of want to backtrack a little bit, see if we might have missed out on a little bit of loot back there, but uh, let's take down these vines. There we go, just because why not? I don't know if you can kill these vines and get anything out of them, like, loot-wise. I don't know. But we do have Swiftness Potion right now. I don't know if Swiftness Potion, I never looked into it. I think it only does uh, movement speed. I, it feels like it might do uh, weapon speed, but it might just because of these gauntlets are so, like, fast. It feels like they're a lot faster compared to anything else we've had, which is kind of true. Like, faster than the daggers, faster than the sickles. I think so. I think they are actually the fastest melee weapon we've ever had thus far. So that's amazing. Kill these skeletons, nice. What are we gonna get there? Strength? Man, I always get strength, like, when it's two egg and white. Sheesh. <laughs> let's see what else is over here in these alternate pathways, though. You know what, let's go up here. It looks like up here. Which way is it? Oh yeah, it's telling me to go, like, to the bottom left. Holy egg. Was this one? Oh, that was just another line. And some more zombies, too. Man, I could chop these guys down so I can fast. And I had a little bit of combo right there. I probably would have done more DPS if I wasn't doing that combo to be quite honest, but up here it looks like, oh, oh, a big wall of, oh my gosh, and we still straight took down that whole wall of vines instantly. Man, already, you know, after like a second and a half or something crazy. Take your death cap mushroom here in just a sec. Death cap mushroom plus strength equals like nonstop just carnage, I'm sure, right? Jeez. Unfortunately, I don't have a strength right now. Oh, I got an arrow bundle from that healing potion, unfortunately, but let's kill these vines over here. Oh, we're taking some good damage. I feel like if we're getting, like, right next to the vines, we might be taking some, like, spike damage from them or something. So probably don't want to be, like, right up next to them, to be quite honest. Might want to watch out for that. Yeah, let's see. How much health do we have? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I kind of want to myth bust it. Okay. No, I'm not taking any, like, spike damage from it. I was, like, running right into it right there, and it didn't do anything, so that's good. Anything up here, though? This is just a dead end that doesn't have anything. Yeah, just more of these vines over here. Hmm. I kind of want to let them just sit out. Is another one going to spawn over here? Uh, no. No more over here. I kind of want to just let them, like, see see if they do anything. Because I think I'm killing them so fast they're not even, like, doing any damage if they even do any damage. So let's get another heal. Another arrow bundle. Let's see. Does he do anything? It's not doing anything right now, so I assume it's just a... Purely defensive, like I was speculating earlier. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, we could use the Death Cat Mushroom again. I kind of want to load up on fire. You know what? Let's get a llama back. Yeah, it's been a little while. I don't know why I never respawned my llama. He's been dead for a little while, man. <laughs> let's kill all these guys over here. Skeletons, poison zombies, big wall of uh, vines over here. Defensive vines. Man, this Death Cat Mushroom is insane. Look at all the fire aspect 66 combo on the top. Uh, top, Or like, I guess just the middle left. 78. Golly, 83, 91. Look at the combo. It reached over 100! I'm killing this ocelot too! Jeez! What is this? That looks like a secret entrance. How do I activate it? Ah, oh, man. I'm not seeing anything around here to potentially activate that secret entrance, you guys. If it is one. It looks like one. And we, uh, we hit, like, a shield last episode to unlock a secret entrance, but I'm not seeing anything here, unfortunately. Man! No buttons. Oh, is there a statue? There- ah, there's, like, this thing. I'm trying to interact with it, but I'm not seeing anything happen while I'm, like, hovering over everything, so that sucks. Heal up there. Strength potion, perfect! Let's test this thing out with the, uh... Oh, man, a lot of arrow bundles over here. We have almost 300 arrows, nice. Get our, uh, death cap mushroom. Oh, is that too early? I think I did that a little bit too early. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Strength plus death cap mushroom is absolute and utter annihilation! Holy man! There's, like, nothing over here. I think all the enemies kind of, like, went to... Oh, oh, I could even melee a creeper! Holy heck, before it even explodes. Oh, I was wondering if, like, that parrot statue right there might have unlocked the, uh, the, like, the secret entrance I was speculating right there, but no. Oh, man, I'm probably going to get comments like, oh, you should have done this to open up that secret entrance. Let's go check it again real quick, because we just defeated all the enemies over here, I think. So perhaps now it's open if it isn't secret entrance. No. Huh. Okay. 
Interesting. I don't know what to activate over there, if you even can activate it. It's probably nothing. And I'm just freaking out over nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm like, that wouldn't necessarily be a new thing for me, right? Sheesh. But I kind of want to look at the big map. Oh, yeah, there's a pathway up there that's probably a... a, a oh, there's a little bit right there I guess we can go backtrack to. You guys want to go there? Uh, there might be something over there. How many do we have? Five out of seven chests discovered thus far. Remember, we started out with there was only three chests. So, so far, we found four secret chests. So that's kind of crazy. But uh, I guess I'll backtrack over to there real quick. Oh, there's one of those defensive uh, oakwood potions or whatever. Oakwood brews. So that's kind of interesting, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to take it. E even on my way back out there, I doubt I'll take it because... Oh, sounds like some enemies. Because we've already basically cleaned out that area over there, so it's not like there's going to necessarily be anything. It seems like another end... Oh, yeah, see, look at this. A bunch of vines guarding something... There's nothing here. Even if there was, it'd probably just take us over to there. Oh, gosh. Oh, my uh, llama killed him. Nice. What if I killed all the vines and stuff over here? Anything I'm going to open? Surely I killed all the vines in that previous area, and uh, still nothing happened. Oh, what was this? Oh, I thought I can go up there, but I can't. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see anything here. Nothing there on that torch either, huh? What about that torch? Uh, nothing on that standing torch. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go north, because it looks like it wants me to go south. Yeah, looking at the bottom of the screen right now, it wants me to go south, so... That's where the main mission is telling us to go. I guess we'll take this Oakwood bro Brew just because why not? Eh, it lasts 15 seconds. I might... It might be useful against something up here. If I'm fast enough, let's keep rolling up here. Keep rolling, roll... Oh, gosh, I'm going to get a copy strike if I keep doing that. Whoops. Let's keep going up here. <laughs> and, yeah, it just ran out. The Oakwood Brew just ran out. Right before we reached a big wall of heckin' vines and zombie right there. Man! Ah, the timing could not be any worse. Let's get the Death Cat Mushroom to make up for that. I do some really good weapon damage against all these vines and zombies. And even an armored skeleton right there. We have some flame arrows. There we go. Man, we're just chopping that guy down so easily. Watermelon right there. 15 seconds of regen. Don't mind if I do. Another, uh, like, tree trunk bridge right here. Interesting. Zombies. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Enchanted zombies. We're able to chop them down. No problem. Oh, look at that constant, uh... Combos, I guess I'll call them. Man, that's good. Holy. This is amazing. You guys kill that skeleton. Oh, whoa, those are ocelots. Whoa, is there anything enchanting up over here? I don't know if there are any enchanter villagers. There you go. Don't want to get too close to that. Uh, oh, oh, nice. Another. Oh, an area over here. More ga even better gauntlets. Whoa. Power level 34 compared to the level 33 we have right there. 27 to 49, 26 to 46. But only one enchant slot. Or, uh,. Yeah, only one chance lost. Swirling. Last attack is in a combo. Performs a swirling attack, damaging nearby enemies. Deals 49 damage. Whoa. Isn't that what we had on daggers a while ago? I Maybe. Now, we have two enchant slots over here with fire aspect and potentially, like, sharpness or stunning, maybe. I'm like, I'd probably do sharpness, honestly, if I had extra enchant. But 31 to 38 uh, damage per second with that fire aspect. Compared to this swirling, last attack in a combo, 49 damage. It's good enough that I'm going to keep it, not immediately salvage it, but uh, I don't think I'm going to switch over to it just yet. So we, we have a new area over here already, so that's good. We, are we at six? Uh, yeah, we are at six out of seven chests, so that's good. Let's see, which way do I want? I guess we'll go up north. Let's see what's up here. Uh, which? Oh, can I like? Oh, I can't go up there. I guess maybe this will circle around and this is going to be the exit, huh? So I guess we have to go down, so that sucks. Oh, oh, whoa, creeper. I was able to chop down the creeper with no strength. I had a little bit of thorns right there, though, but the creeper only does explosion damage, right? Uh, I think the thorns only did that to the skeleton right there, but... Man, I was able to DPS down that heckin' skeleton, no problemo. Holy heck. That was amazing. I was up here, just an ocelot-like statue or, uh, block or something. Oh, whoa, what was that sound? Ocelot armor? What? What's making that noise? Something's making some noise. I don't know what that was, but I want to see what that ocelot armor was. What buffs and stuff does it do? 169 health, 50% faster roll, so literally the exact opposite of that other arm we had a while ago that had like two times slower regen on the roll. Or is that, oh, is that, that might, we might roll faster, but the, uh, the cooldown is the same, maybe. 169 health compared to 200 on our scale mail. And 35% damage reduction, same damage reduction, but no damage, uh, buff, plus 30% damage, and nothing over here. So I could just roll a little bit faster, and then I also have gravity pulse, protection, Negative 6% damage taken, interesting, and then we have the Enraged, or, uh, Frenzied over here. For 10% melee and range attack speed, whenever, uh, under half health. And then we have Recycler and Explorer. I'm not crazy about that, to be quite honest. I think I'm gonna keep my current scale mail. We even still have some of the armor that we got at the end of, uh, 
the main mission. Whenever we defeat the Arch Illager. We still have some of that armor. I haven't switched over to just yet. Even though some of it does intrigue me. Kind of want to refresh my memory. Oh, nice. He killed that, uh, that zombie right there. That's good. Kind of want to refresh my memory on how good or bad that, uh, that armor actually is. I don't open this up this way. Just in case the armor or the emeralds fall off that map. Nice. He spat on that zombie and killed him with his acid spit. <laughs> That's good. I don't, oh, whoa, creeper, creeper, no! Man, almost died. Golly, I rolled right into, I didn't see that creeper. He kind of blended in with the, uh, the poison cloud around the zombies and skeletons and stuff. Sheesh. I still have some, I do still have some flame arrows. Nice, let's keep using this. Whoa! Roll away from the, nice, my llama killed the creeper right there. Great job. What's up here? Oh, okay, it all just circles around. So it doesn't matter if we're going in an alternate pathway over here. So that's good. He's like another skeleton up there. Nice, got him with the, uh, the flames damage over time. And we just DPS down that creeper, nice. What's over here? Seems like there's something. Uh, oh, a creeper. Oh, two creepers. Aw, oh, man. Shoot him. Nice, we got him with the flames. And uh, it was a multi-shot, too, so that's good. Just some emeralds. Okay, nothing too crazy, but I'm not gonna really be like, oh, man, I missed out on anything over there if I didn't go over there, you know. Oh, another ocelot statue right there. Creeper DPSed him down. Nice. Poison skeleton. I haven't used a death cat mushroom in a while. I'm like, we're not really coming across big waves of enemies or anything like that just yet. So it don't really make sense for us to use it. I'm going to get him with the creep. Oh, creeper right. Whoa, we still took damage right there. I guess I was still in his radius, huh? Strength potion from that healing. Nice. Guess I'll try and kill that creeper. Man, he just melted. With the heck of DPS and the strength with double damage. Man, that's amazing. What's down here in this alternate path? Because this, this was the second way we could have gone. I guess just go up the waterfall right here. Whatever the slope would be. Oh, whoa. A chest. Ooh, so this is all chests. Seven out of seven. Well, there may be an eighth over here we can unlock. Nothing right there. We have a TNT on our heads, too, so we could do some good damage against, like, a creeper. Or, like, a big pack of enemies in general if there is anything over here. Oh, oh, speaking of such. Uh-oh, creeper! I think that skeleton actually got killed by that creeper. And not, uh, my, my... Oh, wait! My llama died! No, he's on cooldown! Man! All right, we'll slow... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that, that's the only way to get up there. Ooh, they're taunting us. See, if I came over here originally, they'd be taunting us with that chest, but I can't get to it just yet. <laughs> but yeah, I do have to go all the way around. And it's free to such. Yep, you have to circle all the way around. And the way that we came in is the same way we're going to go out. So, let's grab this arrow bundle. We're doing really well on arrows right now. 345, pretty much all the arrows we've actually been using have been the fire arrows, which don't even use our regular arrows, which is good. Just use It's just an artifact, you know? So, let's spawn in our uh, llama friend. There he is again. He's loading up on a bunch of saliva right now. <laughs> Ready to spit at any creepers, zombies, skeletons, or anything else. Yeah, we haven't seen any illagers over here. I guess all the illagers are just gone because, remember, we defeated the arch illager, so... I guess there are no more illagers for him to command around and stuff like that, right? So that's interesting. What's over here? Oh, zombie. And a creeper. Oh man, got him, nice. That was some good teamwork right there. Got him with a flame arrow, and then uh, my llama killed him with the poisonous spit or whatever that would be. <laughs> That's pretty good. What's up here? Oh, that's kind of, that's that's an entrance right there, but it's blocked off by like gravel or whatever that would be. Some weird like cobblestone. And oh wait, no, there's a button. Hold on. What'd that do? Oh oh oh, boss battle or mini uh thing. Ooh, death cat mushroom. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. We have uh seven seconds of that. Man, it only lasts for like ten seconds or like nine point something, like nine point six or something like that. See, I, th I feel like I kind of wasted it. Not that many enemies right now. Although it is a bonus area, so I guess it makes sense that they don't want to overwhelm you with enemies. But it, at the same time, that's kind of the point of a bonus area, right? Like a bunch of extra enemies to kill and all that kind of jazz. But, oh, now they're low. Oh, man, that was a creeper right there, man. Oh, let's get the hardened thing. The oakwood armor, nice. Is that all of it? That was, what? And once again, yep, there's another bonus chest right there. We just got even better gauntlets again. 28 to 50 with double enchants over here. Empty slot, select which enchantment to equip. Yeah, it can't, I don't know why it's, it has an empty slot there. It's not like iron like that. It's kind of weird. Freezing, and then we have stunning here. I'd probably end up doing freezing. Then critical hit for 10% chance to uh, do triple damage, I think. Yeah, triple damage and then sharpness. Ah, uh, I... Even though this is like just barely below at 26 to 46, 28 to 50. I think I'm still going to keep my current armor. Just because the enchantments I feel are a little bit better. And yep, looks like we're going to go out now. So there you go. All right, nice. I feel like that was a pretty good little area. We got a little bit of extra loot, and we're currently at eight out of eight chests discovered, so that's good. Shadow Brew, that's going to be basically useless. We've already killed everything over here, so that's kind of that kind of sucks. But seems like a bonus area there that kind of goes into Peninsula. So let's go over there and let's see if uh, find any loot over there. And then we have to head south for the main mission to explore the Vine Maze. So 
Oh, hold on. I missed it right here. I didn't even realize this was a... Oh, yeah, look at this. There's a pathway right here being blocked off by a bunch of heckin' vines. Let's kill all the zombies and stuff, because the vines, of course, don't do any damage. So there you go. Eh, might as well do a little bit of training on these vines real quick before we turn around and kill this like an armored zombie. Or er, armored skeleton. Whoops. Cut that out of the video. Make it make it sound like I said zombie the first time. There you go. DPS down that guy and get a heal right there. What do we get? Arrows. Nice. Death Cat Mushroom. Man, we're doing some good damage with the heckin' extra weapon speed. Golly, that's so good. We still have it? Yep, for two more seconds. Man, we're able to, like, kill these guys instantly, which is crazy. Nothing over here. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah, nothing over here. Just vines over here for me to punching bag. Yeah. You can see how much slower we are now that we don't have the death cat. Jeez, that's crazy. We're taking a lot more damage, though. We're, like, we're, we're getting so many times now we've almost died, or at least gotten really low on health. Like, uncomfortably low, where I, I want to take a health potion, but of course I don't have any. Uh, we don't have any souls right now. I'm like, we don't have anything to gather souls with, so... If I did want to use, like, a soul healer or whatever, at least we'd start gathering souls at that point. But, uh, yeah, we, we can't, like, s switch over to a soul healer right now and heal ourselves up. Because we have no souls right now, so that sucks. Yeah, even my llama's doing some, uh, some target practice on the heckin' the vines over there. That's awesome. What's happening over here, though? Oh, skeleton right there. Kind of would get a heal. What was that? Oh, that was the oak wood, uh, brew. So that's good. We could heal, or, uh, be armored a little bit better. Let's get a death cat mushroom. Take up on these enemies a little bit faster. There you go. More stuff over here. Roll towards them. Rolling straight towards danger over here. Yep. I am the heckin' danger, haters. Man, this is crazy. Look, look at the fire aspect combo I have there, you guys. That's crazy. Kind of want to use... Oh, didn't I have flame arrows? What happened to my flame arrows? That's a big horde of zombies. Flame arrows right there. Look at the multi-shot kicking in. Golly, that's amazing. Strength. Apple for five seconds of regen. Golly. Our current loadout of weapons isn't the best, but at the same time, they're still powerful in their own right. It's amazing. Get another heal right there, another hardened brew. I don't know why I keep calling it that. It's called Oakwood Brew, isn't it? Another red uh, hunter's armor right there, so eh, nothing to write home about. A little bit of target practice right there while we still have seven more seconds of uh, double damage. Oh, what's up here? Oh, nothing. Man. Yeah, I really wish they'd actually implement some sort of like secret, like, like we just came out of a secret area. Eh, it wasn't really secret. I'm like, if you're exploring the whole map, you'd find it, right? But I, I, I at least over there, maybe add some sort of button or a torch or something like that to make it secret. Come on, I, you know, because we have a jungle theme over here, or maybe like, like some sort of like loot that's on a pressure plate, so we can get some Indiana Jones sort of memes going on. You know, that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> but oh yeah, I guess I guess they kind of had that. There were some pressure plates earlier, but. No, like, Indiana Jones things where you have to, like, replace the pressure plate to make sure it doesn't set off a trap, right? That'd be kind of fun if we could do that, but... I don't know, maybe you can. And I just haven't come across it just yet. And listen, we just cleaned out this second pathway over here <laughs> with ease. And I'm not bragging either. Let's continue on uh, to this peninsula to see what's over there, see if we have any loot. And then, of course, seems like that's the main pathway over there. Man, oh, we still have strength from when? Man, strength lasts last forever. Like, what, 30 seconds or something crazy? Armor's on. Okay, yeah, he's down right there. Fire aspect 30 combo right there. Sheesh. And we have some thorns kicking in as well from this armor. I have an arrow, like, right through my nose. <laughs> or my mouth or something like that. Sheesh. Let's see what's up. Oh, our llama died a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he's back. So there you go. Man, I keep forgetting about the companions and stuff. I think our current, uh... Oh, whoa, that's a cool fountain right there. Interesting. Zombie right there. Dead. Oh, a lot of, uh, things over here. I guess I'll have some target practice on him. There we go. I suppose my llama gets some target practice, too. Punching bags over here, like I called them. Man, and our uh, combos do 33, like 47, and then like 60 as well, so that's cool. Oh, nice. yeah, look at that. We were able to do a little bit of AoE right there. I was punching one zombie, and it was, it was kind of doing the same damage to that nearby zombie right there, so that's interesting. Let's take on these other punching bags over here. Oh, TNT, awesome. This is going to be great going into a new area. Any uh, enemies over here for us to shoot at? Nah, just one right there. I don't want to waste that TNT on just one zombie. I guess I could use it right here. There you go. Take out the... Will it take out those vines even if they're not, like, showing? Whoa! Almost just killed. I didn't know that TNT didn't go off just yet. I just leveled up, went up to, like, full health, and then just got TNT'd right there and almost died from that. Jeez. 213 damage right there from gauntlets? That's amazing damage. I could still... No! Man, I thought I could DPS down the heckin' creeper, but I couldn't. I almost died again. Jeez, I don't know why I haven't died just yet. That's crazy. So many times. Oh, oh, oh. Kill that guy. Nice gun with a fire arrow. So many times we've almost died. I don't know how we're surviving so frequently over here, you guys. It's crazy. Another guy over there. Got him. Yep. There you go. Got him with the flames. The damage over time. Creeper. Get him there. Got him. Nice. Man, I'm just waiting for the, uh, 
for the, the cooldown on the heckin' healing potion right now, you guys. It's crazy. There you go. Aim those guys out. We really need to use our, like, actual arrows. There we go. Speaking of arrows, we just got even more right there from an arrow bundle. Man, this surprise gift is amazing. What, what is the... Uh, oh, oh, oh! Man, that, that range on that creeper explosion was amazing. I was able to kill that vine that was, like, all the way over there. That was crazy.